everyone, welcome to Paper Wishes Thursday vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I have some fun and versatile special occasion cutting dies from Simply Made Crafts. And this one that I'm showing you here is a little two inch favor um, box die set. And it comes with all of these wonderful pieces, 13 pieces to decorate adorable little favor boxes that could be used as wedding favors, wedding or baby shower favors, or birthday, or even Christmas. So I've got a few different designs to show you here. So let me first show you how these boxes work. It just couldn't be easier. It comes with a box die. This will fit through any of your die cutting machines, the Big Shot, the Gemini, what have you. And um, they're really easy to fold. They come with the fold lines already done. I've already done a little creasing here. So what you do is, is you just glue together here and I like to use let's see where did I put it um, I like to use my extra sticky tape and just put a little bit right here you can also use um, our specialist acrylic glue hold that together or even just hot glue and then once you've got your box assembled like this then it's time to do the lid it's got these little flaps right here you glue one there you glue one there and then you've got your lid so just goes together like this. And then it's got all of these wonderful little squares and which you could use for card making as well. And also these little flowers. These particular flowers, when I die cut them from uh, the pink flourish paper, um, it's a metallic, wonderful, uh, rather foil paper from hot off the press. And I just used these little flowers and I just took a pink brush handle and I just curled the edge of each one of those and then took a sweet little sparklets and put one on top there. It was really simple to put together so they would be really easy to mass produce. But then you've got all these other pieces that you could use on your box. So let me show you, this is just a plain square that you could put on there on the top. And then for side pieces, they give you one that's scalloped. So you could put one like this. And they've also got regular square, smaller square pieces that you could put here so it covers a good part of the center. So there's lots of options there. There we go. And then also I wanted to show you the flower dies we go. I used the same flourish paper, continuing with the wedding theme. And this flourish paper, also I used the Mr. and Mrs. cutting dies, also from Simply Made Crafts. Just fun little uh, word dies there. And then also the uh, flower and leaves die set that makes these wonderful blossoms that are here on this card. Let me show you how to put those together. So I'm going to be kind of noisy and move the box dies away. There we go. And here are the flower dies. Okay, so there's six dies in each one of these. And there's, so there's three different sizes of flowers. So let me show you how to make one of these sizes. This is the medium flower. And I'm just going to use uh, pink Cat IQ ink. And get it paper wishes. So I'm just, I've die cut it from white card stock. And you just go along the edge there with the surface. And as you can see, when I'm using the surface, I'm kind of going into the petal, not just the edge. I love the size of ink pad for these little small spaces. I don't have to get out an applicator. It's just faster. Go, two more to go. There we go. All right, and then what I do is you can just take really a pencil or anything to get your curve started here. You take the end and you're just wrapping it around a pencil or paintbrush handle and that's just to get that going. And once I've got that going, I just roll. 
roll along the swirl. <laughs> Doing this in every direction. There we go. All right, so you're going to end at what is this last piece right here, and you're just gonna put a dot of hot glue there, and that would just keep that all in place. And then what I like to do is, is just go back and curve each one of those petals, just to give it a little dimension. And you could use, once again, the edge of your pencil or paintbrush to do this. I just like just using my fingertips to go around and give that some curve. gives you the general idea if that was all glued in place to stay there. And then I just glued them in clusters. Um, I think there's two different sizes here. This is the medium one and these are the two small ones. And then I used some little sparklets right here. And these leaves, I sort of just took each leaf and this is the yellow and green cat eye cube just add a little medium oops sorry here we go added a little medium green to that edge all right so let me show you what some other designs we've got here so I thought it would also make a really fun Christmas themed table place card setting so each one of your guests could have their own little box with their name on it I just used my computer and printer for each name and then die cut it with one of the little edges for the box and then just glued it all together and then I edged my white flower with gold um, ink and then for a fun birthday party favor the same idea I used the flower that came with the box die here we go this flower right here and just layered those but instead of curling them under like on this box, I curled them up and then also went ahead and put a sparklet there. And I used to decorate the sides from Dotted Duo's paper pack um, <clears throat> number one from Hot Off the Press. I just used the circles that came with the dies. So thanks for joining me today. We have a great money saver on this collection. Um, it includes both of these sets, both the flower and the box set, but the Mr. and Mrs. is also available on its own, so if you can check that out. So if you are um, watching us on YouTube, check in the links below for the Money Saver and also links to uh, paperwishes.com for more inspiration. Thanks for joining me today.